Tonight at 10, some city leaders say they want to crack down on people parking illegally in bike lanes, bus lanes, and loading zones by using cameras. Now, these cameras would be posted on CTA buses and light poles. NBC 5's Natalie Martinez joins us now live with much more on this idea. Natalie? Allison, it's sort of an old idea with new teeth tonight. It's a two-year pilot program to help change driver behavior. One day after a lawsuit is filed by the family of a three-year-old killed while riding on her mom's bike last summer in Uptown, some see promise from City Hall. It's hope that the city's actually making changes for the better. Mayor Lori Lightfoot is proposing CTA bus and surveillance cameras to catch motorists in zone violations. The two-year pilot programs, Smart Streets and Smart Loading Zones, are being introduced as traffic fatalities in Chicago have more than doubled since 2019. This ordinance would establish two um, pilots downtown that use existing infrastructure and new technology to enforce parking violations such as cars parked in bike lanes, bus lanes, uh, crosswalks and more and enable a camera enforcement for parking in commercial loading zones. If passed, the ordinance would affect the area bound by North Avenue and Roosevelt Road to the Lake and Ashland Avenue. We don't have enough police officers to be babysitting every bike lane, so having this automated camera technology in place is going to solve that problem. Kevin lost his dear friend Sam Bell last September. Sam died after a hit and run driver killed him in River West. He was riding in a protected bike lane. What's better than a ticket agent is a bus that's coming down every 15 minutes. And I mean, you can't hide from that. The founder of Bike Lane Uprising explains how just today she was assaulted trying to document someone illegally parked in this downtown bike lane. We want to be able to bike in Chicago without our lives endangered. Here's how it would work. First, you'll get a warning so you know you did something wrong. Then, once fully implemented, you will get a fine with a photo of the violation. We're live downtown. Natalie Martinez, NBC5 News. Never good to get those photos in the mail. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.